my food I've done all week. <laughs> Hola! Hello. How are we doing guys? So I promised you a question and answer about, I don't know, four weeks ago, but we finally got around to doing it. So these are the questions that we've had on Instagram and on YouTube. So we'll go through them and give you the answers. So the first one is, what's the number one must thing, must have thing for a camper? Um, for me, <laughs> the main one that I can think of at the minute is our memory foam pillows, because I love them. Because <laughs> <laughs> we only have to have one, and they're nice and thick, uh, so it takes up less room, and they're comfy. <laughs> Mine's even worse. Do you know what mine is? Mine is Yorkshire tea bags and our like little mini oven things. So it's like this little thing, you screw it onto a gas canister and it boils the kettle like super quick. It's like three minute boil. Yeah, it's like perfect for Yorkshire tea. Okay, next one. How do we get to travel so much? Um, we just prioritise it really, don't we? Yeah, we don't go out really. We don't like go out drinking or anything we spend all our money on traveling <laughs> pretty much it all our spare money goes on traveling and holidays and the camper van yeah and even if it's like a short break we try and get somewhere like it can be like two days and just still be an adventure yeah and you guys still see it on instagram okay next one favorite place we've ever visited uh that's gonna be I'm going to be rubbish at this because I like everywhere I go for a different reason. So I love Portugal. I've been here loads of times. I like Vancouver. I did two seasons there. Teaching skiing and snowboarding. And I love Edinburgh and Amsterdam as cities as well. Um, but yeah, everywhere I've been, I've found something to like about it. I don't know where I like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Iceland was really cool. Iceland was crazy. Iceland's like a completely different place. It's bizarre. But Iceland was good. San Francisco was good. And I, I'm like Adam. I'm just going to pick everywhere. I like everywhere we've been. If I don't like somewhere, I'll tell you. But there's not many places I don't like. Okay, next. Where do we want to visit next? Or where do we want to go soon? Well, I've always wanted to go to Japan because it's just such a different culture, I think. So like, and when I was younger, I was right into my cars and stuff, and like drifting and all that stuff. <laughs> Fly race to Bailey in the mix. So, I still want to go to Tokyo and see that kind of experience, that culture. So that's high on the list, Tokyo. I want to go Thailand. I really want to go to Thailand. One, because again, it's completely different culture, completely different to what we're used to. And I just think it's really like beautiful part of the world. Like all the pictures, all the videos I've seen, it looks amazing. So yeah, that's on our list, but got some different things coming up soon. So it's not going to be on our list in the short term, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no. But yeah, Thailand's be good. All right, what cameras do we use? Adam, you can answer this one. <laughs> uh, the camera that's on my phone <laughs> and some type of GoPro. Yeah, I'll answer it really. <laughs> so we use three main cameras for our vlogs and our Instagram. So our main vlogging cameras, the one that we're talking to right now, is the Canon G7X Mark II, which is really good. It's got a screen that flips up so it faces us, so we can always make sure that shots framed, things like that. Um, for our B-roll, for the vlogs, and for a lot of our Instagram photos, we use the Panasonic GX80. Um, it's a mirrorless camera, so you can swap the lenses, but it's not as big and bulky as a digital SLR. So that's got, our B-roll lens is a 25mm, and then it just comes with a standard 12 to 35mm lens, I think. But we don't use that one as often. And then, if you've been on our Instagram recently, or in any of our vlogs that include anything slightly more adventurous, any underwater shots, anything like that, that's all on our GoPro. It's quite an old GoPro now, it's a GoPro Hero 2, but it's got a dive case, so it's really good underwater, so we use that 
for anything that we don't want to take the main cameras with. Any more? It's a bit like car language. <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> I'm much. About car. Um, the brand or where we got our units and our rock and roll beds and our pop top from for our camper van. Uh, they were all, we all just used local places, but they were really good, weren't they? Yeah. So we had Oz Tops for the pop top. Um, place called Road Runner. Yeah, for the rock and roll bed. For the rock bed. and roll bed. Um, they were really good. They put on like the the emblem, like the logo for us, didn't they? And then really the price, units and... were from Northern Rose Campers. Yep. Yeah, Northern Rose Campers. Yeah, they're all local pl places and before we like bought them, we went to their like units and had a look at the stuff and talked through what we wanted and they were all really accommodating and let us look at ones that was already made, already put together or in for the pop top, they showed us a van that they just fitted a pop top to, hadn't they? So yeah. we had an idea of what it was, what we wanted, whether it was work for us, it was all pretty reasonable on it really. Yeah, Price fair prices for what, for the quality and stuff that they they delivered. Hmm. I think that might be it. On oh no, a diesel heater. Got loads of questions on a diesel heater. Yeah, so we'll probably do <laughs> we'll probably do a full video, won't we, on a diesel heater and stuff. A lot of people are asking why we used a different tank. Um, one is because. Just a few quick reasons, there's more, but the main reasons were we weren't going to then have any further future problems with the main tank. So if anything was to go wrong with the connection or anything with it, it's not going to affect the existing tank that's there. Uh, but, and the other thing is that we can use kerosene and stuff like that, so cleaner burning fuels as well as diesel in it if it needs a bit of a clean out. Because um, they have been known to sit up sometimes if you're running them on low power for a long time. Um, so something like kerosene will run burns a bit cleaner. They're probably the two main reasons we did, but we'll do a full video. Yeah, when we get back, because it's cold back in England, we've heard, and we're not excited to go back. <laughs> and then the last one, we got loads of comments on our, the video that we did for changing the logbook. Oh, yeah. People want to know why, what the benefits are. But you're a better place to answer this than me. Yeah, so there's slightly less, like if you've got a car based um, vehicle, changing it, to a, changing it to a camper van or motor caravan as they call it on there now. But if you've got a panel van, the biggest reasons are that it's cheaper crossings on like the ferry and stuff like that, like the channel ferry and the train crossings are cheaper. Um, it's Speed limits increase as well, so if you've got a panel van that's under three and a half tons, you can only go like 60 on carriageways and 50 on single carriageways, whereas they go up to 60 and 70 mile an hour, 60 on single carriageways and 70 on dual carriageways. Um, and probably one of the biggest ones is that the insurance drops generally. Panel vans are a lot more expensive to insure than motor caravans. Yeah, we has dropped quite a bit, didn't it? Uh, we got a really good deal on our our panel van, and we started insuring it as a camper and conversion rather than a panel van from the get go. So it was quite cheap, but it was about two hundred pound cheaper. This flies just on my nose now. <laughs> <laughs> Flying. <Flyer. laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, so in quick, speed limits increase on the motor caravan, insurance decreases, and ferry crossings across the channel and stuff like that decrease as well, generally. Awesome. Right, I think that's it for questions, but if you've got any more, drop them in the comments, and then we'll do another one of these in like a few weeks' time. We've got quite a lot of content from Portugal, which will get uploaded when we get home, so that's when you'll see this. Cool guys, so if you want to keep up to date with our content, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make give sure us... you like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> you are so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you drop comments as well. Any questions, you can have drop comments below. Or if you've got us over on Instagram, drop us a DM and we'll make sure we answer it. We answer all the comments and stuff. 
so yeah we'll get back to you if you've got a question for sure or we'll probably do another one of these in a couple of weeks anyway especially if we keep getting loads of questions so that everyone gets answered but yeah see you next week guys our first swim bye <laughs> <laughs>